What's up guys and gals, it's Goliath here from Arc Studios and we are here joined by a man, a legend in my eyes, that basically brought our childhoods to life. We want to thank him so much for the sit down interview. I am here with the legend, Michael Bell. I love that he added that because it is truth. This man is a legend. He has done stuff from Transformers, G.I. Joe, Justice Friends, uh, uh, Voltron, just to name a few guys. This guy has been everywhere and pretty much done our, if you're an 80s, 90s baby, this man was your childhood. <gasps> no, Chucky, it's not going to hurt, see? Beady, what a great idea. Well, you can always count our lip shits. My hate snoring. Oh, Grouchy! Come and join the fun. It'll make you feel so smurfy. I hate feeling anything. <laughs> so, I gotta ask, what got you into voice acting in the first place? I just, you didn't wake up one day and go, I want to be a voice actor. Like, what led to this? You know, I didn't even know that existed. Uh, I was an on-camera actor. Uh, I was on the contract to Universal Studios. I did about 40 or 50 uh, uh, shows, television shows that I guest starred on. And uh, I met somebody who was really a lovely gal, who was one of the top voiceover ladies, and she said, I want to introduce you to some people because I, you know, with all the stuff we used to play around in terms of voices, uh, you should meet somebody that um, would certainly, uh, you know, uh, appreciate your talent, and that was Mel Blanc. That's kind of, it's like I always tell people, it's about the connections. He met somebody through somebody, and boom, it just launched your career from there, I'm guessing. Pretty much so. Uh, I, I got, I, I became secure having worked with Mel, and I said, I can do this. This is stuff that I can do, and I don't have to worry about what I look like. Um, you know, it, any of that good stuff that uh, on-camera actors have to worry about. So I went ahead and uh, started this career and hoped it would take off, and she introduced me to an agent, and uh, he said, yeah, I think I can, uh, I think I can make you work for us and work for yourself. and." sold me and um, started doing albums. I think I did a horror album for Halloween or something and then started to take off in some commercials and then before you know it got into uh, voice animation with Hanna-Barbera. Um, can you still do any of the voices like uh, Chucky's dad or anything? Can you still do any of the voices or is your... <laughs> yeah, Chucky's dad, Chaz, had this sound over here as an adenoid and uh, they just, I'm told, uh, picked up 26 new... Uh, uh, Rugrats that they plan to do, and let's just hope that, that the crowds out there say, we want Michael Bell to play Jackie's dad again. That was, I'm like, I'm, I got like, woo, I got shivers, guys. That was awesome. And can you still do Grumpy Smurf? Is that still possible? Well, Grumpy, if you recall, was from Snow White. I play Grouchy. Grouchy oh. I hate the idea that people call me Grumpy. I'm Grouchy. I had a slip on guys. I got a little flustered. I got confused, but that was still amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. I got to hear my childhood. That was that was I'm psyched. You're still a child. <laughs> How old do you think I am, sir? Well, let me cut you in half and count the rings. He's got me there, guys. He's got me there. <laughs> so, um, are you actually going to be doing the voice for Chucky's dad in the new series? I don't know. Nobody knows. I don't know of anybody that's been cast yet. Paramount brought it. Uh, hey, I got a feeling they'll probably you, uh, use uh, LeBron James instead of me. Le nah. Hey, guys, if you like and follow us, put the word out there on the street, guys. Let the nerd community know we want him as Chucky's dad because having the original voice actor as older Chucky Finster's dad, come on. We know we all want this, so make it happen. Get some positions together. Let's let them know we want Chucky's dad original. <laughs> Is there any words of wisdom or anything you could pass on to the next generation of voice actors and people trying to get into the fandom and trying to do this because a lot of people love watching guys like you and the pinnacles of everything you've done career-wise. Anything you could let them know that could help keep them going even when they seem like times are down? Well, you know, if you've got the drive, if you've got the drive to do it, there's nothing can stop you. Um, I do suggest, as a lot of people say, they want to do voiceovers and they're... Uh, I say you got to be an actor. You really should study some acting. You should uh, absolutely join an improv group in whatever neighborhood you live in, whatever city you live in. Get into an improv group, start developing characters vocally, and plagiarize, don't change your eyes. That's why God made your eyes, so plagiarize. All right, guys, some really good inspiring words. Sir, I want to thank you so much, A, for my childhood. I think all our fans can appreciate everything you've done. 
We look forward to so much more coming from you if we get... Guys, remember, we want him. We want him to play Chucky's dad. Put the word out there. <laughs> so, sir, thank you so much for my childhood. Thank you so much for the interview. Guys, we'll talk to you later. Sir, any last closing words you want to let them know about? Well, it... Uh, did you, oh, that we have to be... It, all of us... Uh, of you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>